So moving straight on from the S10, no mask needed to put on this head, although I might in a moment. PRVU kit, or Pure View, depending on how you want to pronounce it, the rocket refueling variant, and among many other things, rocket refueling, tank refueling, even ship refueling, if I remember correctly, variant of the SHMS. I think it was called the SHMS R. <coughs> Fucking animals. Um, I think it was uh, the SHMS R, it was also known as, but most notably, it's known as the PRVU, or Pure View. Uh, this actually isn't a full kit. I really wish it was. It's not. This is the rubberized fabric bag. It's actually quite thin. And I'm going to go over its contents, and you can, see, as I say, you'll note that there isn't actually an SHMS variant, uh, the PRVU, on it. The only real difference is that it has a uh, spe speech transmitter on the front. Uh, the normal SHMS has one exactly the same as the uh, PM, uh, not PMG, the MM1 or the MM1B. And uh, this one actually doesn't. Or wouldn't I say should uh, wouldn't have the holes? It would just be this uh, shiny front cover. They're very difficult to get a hold of. And on top of that, I'm a very large size when it comes to masks. Uh, the largest usually. I don't know about oversized, but um, I wear the double XL size for a hunger for Hungary, the 70M, and la size large with everything else. So uh, it's very difficult to get a hold of even a size three PRVU or even an SHMS in size 3, let alone size 4. I'm starting to believe they don't exist like the MM1. Anyway, sorry, rant. So, rubberized shoulder strap, which of course is adjustable. You just shuffle it along as you wish when you need to adjust it. I'm not going to because I've got it to my adjustment. And a hip strap here, which has a uh, sort of zinc alloy, I believe, uh, clip. You just pop on there. And of course I've adjusted that to my waist size. Again, I'm a big person, so uh, it it took me an embarrassing amount, an embarrassing amount of tries to tightening it, trying it on. Nope, doesn't fit. Do it again. I did it several fucking times. Side pocket for which is empty, and uh, there would have been a button popper here, but I don't have one. I do love the bag design on this, because of course these are designed to be covered in fuel or getting wet. So the bag is this sort of uh, rocket shape with a rubber seal that you just pop on. It's perfectly serviceable, it's got a lot of grip, and it can be used when completely soaking fucking wet in petrol, or whatever the hell they used. I believe that to be a date stamp, being January 1987, but I can't confirm that. I probably could if I read the wiki. I don't know if it's on there. But as I said, this is not a full kit. So I pull this out, and... Dun 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 dun! It's a GP5, or an SHM62U. Um, however, <laughs> is it? Because as Roe CBRN pointed out, it's actually, uh more of a green than a brown, but the Soviet stamping is all there. This one being made by uh, a company that I can't remember, I think it was like Yakoslavl, or something like that, or yeah, no, I can't remember. Jack, do your thing. And this one being made uh, by T, I think it was Tambov. Also the uh, crimping here is more of a zinc colour than that, as are the lenses. Which is quite interesting. Uh, both size 4 as well. I didn't get to choose the size that came with this kit, both size 4. And I've got to say, I far prefer the one that came with this, because the rubber is much nicer. As it happens, they make tyre rubber as well, which explains why it smells like a Halfords. I don't know if that's a joke that applies to Americans. Very dusty, I might add. That's just general scuffs. It was completely coated when I got it. In fact, I can uh, take the opportunity now to... Uh... Look at that. My goodness. Cocaine them. The TSO tubes are uh, jammed. When I say jammed, they're uh, sealed essentially, which is not fun for me. It's super dusty inside. I'm actually hoping to get uh, some more of these as my uh, favorite dealer, Nick. So, hello, Nick. Because uh, I know that you will be seeing this because I'm sending it to you. Many on the list that um, that I do actually intend to get. Hopefully, one or two more of these. I might sell them. I might not, because I really like them. I like the kit that comes with them. The rubber on this is also a lot thinner. Uh, this is basically just GP5 review. Uh, this rubber is way thicker and durable. 
uh, it actually hurts me to wear because the rubber is that thick that it pushes the eye lenses in and it's actually that durable that when I get it on this all this here stays in place while the rubber itself is stretched around so it looks like that, it's like a snout um, compared to this which actually does conform to my face which is very lovely and it's got thinner comfier rubber so it did come with this which was also I might add completely brand new it had the paper covering the valve housing now inside you've got your two pockets here's where your filter would go and I'll explain that why in a moment here's where the mask was crammed there's a little pocket here oh, there you go, a little pocket there and I can just pull out these so these are your insert tins I don't need to explain to people what these are uh, most PRVU kits do tend to come with two, if I remember correctly, so that's not unusual. The unusual part is this. The uh, hose cover, because of course the SHMS would have come with the rubberized hose rather than the uh, fabric one, because you don't want it to be soaked. And this would be the cover. Now I can't show you because I don't have any long valve housing masks anymore. I did have an MM1 which had the ridge on it for refueling covers like this, and I sold it actually to... Uh, what was his name? It was Wheel of Steel. I forget. He, he had a go at me about the name thing. I've already forgotten. Um, Mark. I got. I sold it to Mark. Um, so it would have clumped onto there and held on. It's got an E stamp on it. I don't know what for. But uh, that's not the unusual part. The unusual part is that there's two, because you wouldn't get two in a kit rather interesting. And these aren't torn either, these are actually completely brand new, they're still covered in storage tarp, they stink. That one's a bit more well worn, I noticed. I don't know if there's anything to that. And I forgot I put those back in, I was like what the fuck are they doing back in there? Pull those out. And inside our bag we can see there are two big holes, much like the British GSR bags, especially with the Mark IV and Mark V, where the filter would sit in the bag and you would wear it strapped to you. We can actually see, much like the GP4 bag, I might just invert it for a moment to show you, that it has, this time instead of just one, it actually has two pieces of scrap wood. I think pine again. Hard to tell, it's overdone by the rubber. I'll tell you what, I can just... Uh, it's soft wood, so I think it is pine. So yeah, it's just a... Uh, Simple two divided system with a little side pocket in the middle. There's not much to it really. It's, like I say, rubberized. It's very neat. Uh, personally, I would use it as like an urbexing bag if it weren't so A, uncommon, B, delicate. Because I am worried that I'd scuff it or ruin it. You know, it's designed to withstand fuel and such, not something like this, which is designed to get scratched up. So, yes, I just wanted to cover that. There's not really much I can talk about because like I, I don't have a hose either. I had a Chinese hose, but that's going to nick, and thus it is uh, in a box at the moment. So, look forward to those nick. Nicholas. Nikoslav. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. But yeah. And of course, like I say, I'm very happy with the fact I got a schlem that fits me rather nicely. So, I might uh, give my old one to my friend who you might recall from the old uh, Abdul and Comrade days, and Abdul and Abdul, who the poor bastard had to wear a size 2. And he still got it. Even though we don't do that YouTube shit anymore, uh, he does still have the mask, he uses it for raps and such. Wait, yeah, he, he's got a music gig going on at the moment, he just sings in his room. Um, <laughs> you'll see this, I'll send it to him. So I might just give him this one. I'll give him the filter too, and I won't tell him anything about it. Come on, lean forward. Ah, oh, the bracket's tightened. Come on, untighten. Alright, there we go. And retighten. I've gone too far now. Anyway, that was all I wanted to talk about. Like I say, there's no actual face piece with this one, which is a big shame. This head size is a sort of medium fit, so I do wonder how it'll do. That on it. There you go. 
gorgeous. It fits about as well as a skin suit used by the Slitheen. There you go, it's an old Doctor Who joke. I say old. Anyway, I've only got a couple more items to get through now.